and being a part of sharing frustration. It's real, right? It's real frustration. But by voicing that, we're able to build that better connection in the community. I know Manassas, Prince William, Manassas Park Police Department have been committed to that. We met this early this afternoon with community leaders, faith leaders in our community to make sure we continue this dialogue in a manner that reflects Prince William and Manassas. This is what this is about tonight. But we also need your help in the state legislature. We need your help in criminal justice reform. We need your help in real investment in education, early childhood education, and so many other things that make a real difference in people's lives. This is how we start to connect the dots, both between our justice system, our education system, and how we reflect our government, both locally, state, and federally. That's how we get involved at a very local level, a one-on-one -on -one conversation, a discussion like tonight, and then talking with our friends and neighbors about what it means to build our community together. I have already reached out early last night to the Virginia State Police based on what happened, because I know I heard the Deputy Chief step up on some things that went down last night and they said they can do better. I'm going to make sure, and I've reached out to the Virginia State Police to make sure that they can also do better. Everybody involved has got to be a part of the commitment to figure out ways to do better. And I heard earlier here today also people figure out ways to make sure that protests, this, you know, the frustration that is filled also continues in a manner that reflects our values to make positive change in our community. So I'm proud of who is here tonight, the faces, the hearts, the frustration, but it's the voice that you bring to the table that's gonna make the difference. But I also heard a speaker earlier say, you can't just let it happen once and then it goes away, right? In a week, in two weeks, in three weeks, it can't just fade away into the night. It's gotta be a constant discussion, a constant push, a constant discussion with the police department. How's it going? Are we getting additional CIT trained officers? What other resources do we need? What other things do we need at our education and in our schools, in our state, in our federal government? That's where our conversation has to continue to do because it's year over year over year. It's not just George Floyd, that's his name. There's a list of names, a list of names. It's George Floyd, but it's all of us and how it impacts us. And we've got to be the voice of those who can't be a voice now to continue the discussion a month, two months, three months, a year from now, and hold people accountable for keeping and pressing the message that we need to see. We've got to commit to it in our hearts in our discussions with our neighbors, in our votes, and our commitment with our family members and discussions, and our kids to make sure they know the right message moving forward. So thank you all for being here tonight to be that voice 